I cleaned the place up and it rained and mud went everywhere. Well, let's see if we can record the path going down without it being too shaky. Let's see. Whoa. Easter. Happy Easter. Um, waking up a little late today. Thought I would rest. Uh, it's about two miles from my campsite to the bus stop. And it's about a hundred paces from the entrance down to my actual tent. I try not to crunch this pathway too much. But yeah. Alright, here we go. Maybe I can edit. Maybe I can edit it somehow. I need a little drone. Maybe I can turn it this way and just put the handle out there. There we go. It takes out a little bit of the, the shakiness because the weight of the, the camera on the end of the pole kind of keeps it from jerking. but. I don't know, I'm not going to talk the whole time. Or maybe I will. Mm -hmm. Mountain bikes come down this. Can't wait till I get an electric mountain bike. Pedal assist. Mid motor. It can be a hub motor. Yeah, they have some, some uh, mountain bikes that will just tear up this path. Go straight up it without any effort. Which would mean that I could go miles into the into the woods, you know. There we go. All along the way, there's little lookouts. At night, it's all lit up. Not supposed to be out here actually. This whole park has been shut off because of the stay at home order, which is kind of uh, difficult for me because how am I supposed to stay at home if you guys have made it a thousand dollar fine and up to six months in jail? I go to my home because I live in the woods. 
This is where I live. In the beautiful nature that God has given me. If I ever get thirsty, I do need to clean my jacket when I get down to this, this bridge. Um, this is what uh, my therapy looks like every day, every morning, every night. When I'm walking down, I'm in a good mood. When I'm hiking up at night, when I'm tired, I'm going through everything in my mind that I struggle with. Which is good therapy. Sometimes I think about Archie walk along with us, pointing at things, asking questions. What's that, Daddy? Where are you going, Daddy? <laughs> Chug goes off that way. There's actually a lot of chugs that just go all over this uh, this mountain. I know that for sure the the Grossmont College has been there about 50 years, 60 maybe. about what I'm going to have for breakfast. That can of chili. And some wheat crackers. I should be eating wheat. Maybe I'll get some rice crackers. Yeah, rice crackers. An apple, a banana. At night, I, I when I'm hiking up, I just stop using my flashlight at first it's kind of you know oh this is a spot I definitely sit and take a break oh, yeah. but you kind of uh, develop muscle memory for the the rocks and the crevices just when it actually when it rains and gets muddy that changes up things I'm sloshing all over the place. I don't know what's where there's a you know solid ground. But I got these uh, these army boots from the church in uh, Orange County. Though I ripped a hole in here. There's Gore-Tex inside there that keeps uh, the sweat out and the water out. So that's good have uh, exercise pants on underneath my jeans keep me warm double jackets water resistant not waterproof but, uh, yeah this hat said Gatorade on it I took off the Gatorade I need to wash it yeah this is my life I like to bring my guitar out here. Alright. Oh man, I'm thirsty. I have one of those like camel packs, but that's what you drink out of with a truck. I need to cut the the tube down. It's not that convenient to drink out of. You got some water in the road.
Oh, I, I did, yesterday I did find a, uh, a little abandoned campsite and it had the Red Cross emergency bag. And there's like a pack of, of waters, five year shelf life waters, the last five years. And uh, so I put it, I hid it all in the, in the woods over there, but I found uh, some N95 masks too, two of them. So I have two N95 masks. I let the first one get a little muddy. Yeah, everyone's wearing them in town now, so I guess it's a big thing. Let's see. Oh, I got some new glasses. She said I didn't barely need them, but they help when my right eye gets tired. Yeah. And they help me look like I'm about to tell you what was in the book I just read. That's, that's not what's happening. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. I'm getting thirsty from talking so much. I don't even know if I'm in the shot. Sensitive habitat, R, favorite place for wildlife. I am wildlife. So I've been trying to tell you. Alright. It's been 12 minutes so far. So they drop. Let's stop and get some water. <laughs> Trying to figure out, learn how to like not press the stop button. Set these places. There you go. I can hear water flowing pretty good. I bet in Colorado it flows like that all the time. I know in Tennessee it does. <clears throat> you don't know what you got till it's gone. But it's never too late to appreciate. That's my saying. It's never too late to appreciate. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm only like halfway there. That's why I 
I, uh, I go back and forth between wanting to live up here and down closer so I can wake up and actually, you know, get a job and, and better my life. Maybe that's what uh, my mom's talking about, having a, a place in the city and a place in the country. Well, I don't have four-wheel drive. I just got two feet. Two foot walking. Forget healthier. I can go more places. Oh my. If I, also, if I have that electric mountain bike, I think I'm going to have to just build one myself. If I can find a 2000, 2000 watt hub motor. Oh man, if I had like 2000 watts on the front and the back, maybe with that stimulus check, I can build myself a $1,200 bicycle. Bicycle. I was thinking about getting a, a van, but I don't have a license, so I'd be risking losing the van, getting in trouble on my license. I haven't had my license since 2007. Yeah, 13 years. 13. It's like one of the, it's like those stories where someone says, "Well, oh, for 20 years, I haven't done this for 20 years." Wow, 20 years. 20 years is very possible. Uh, it's very possible my son could turn 20. And I'd be too afraid, too much of a coward to go and see him. I wanted to go and see him today, but I can't walk up like this. I have to, I have to make some videos, yeah. I need to make a video for Jason, explain some stuff to him, maybe make one for for each person, just telling them, you know, how how I uh, how I might feel that that I could have been misunderstood by each person, you know, individually. I remember trying to get some uh, brownies for her her brother. I think we got him a bong. I really liked that he was in the music. I would have loved to hang out with him. I never had a problem with their husband or her mom. It's just she did. She always was... Now I don't want to talk like that. But without knowing any better, we all kind of insinuate or allow other people to you know come to their own conclusions I really am a firm believer in setting the record straight I don't do it all the time but we should definitely try to set the record straight yeah each mind makes up its own you know own way of storing memories and when we look back and we analyze and try to you know assess in order to form some kind of you know understanding then maybe that understanding could be skewed by bias you know influences that had nothing to do with what happened oh wow it's all muddy Look what we got here. Are we still recording? I am tired and hungry. But this is beautiful. I was going to wipe off my jacket, but where do I set the camera? I'm going to set it right there.
no. Regulations and information. No open fires, no overnight sleeping, camping, or parking. No alcohol beverages, no glass containers. No firearms or guns or similar devices. Do not disturb or destroy plants, animals, soil, rock, or other city property. No off-road vehicles. Yup. Well, I'm glad I read that. There's a bunch of mud on this path. Why so many regulations? Every person wants to destroy and, and hog up and, and just be greedy. I try to hike all my trash out, that's for sure. All right, well this is a long walk and I'm gonna save my battery. It's been 23 minutes. I like it when it rains. Washes everything away. Well, thanks for joining me on my hike down from my little tent in the woods. I was just wanting to show everyone that when when they ask me where I live and I tell them, you know, I camp out, it's m probably not what you think. I'll show you more as uh, as I get the energy, as I get the chili beans in me. But yes, every person probably has the same story where we all look at them and think that you know we we know exactly what they're like or what they what they're into when maybe they're not that crazy after all maybe in their little world everything makes sense so let's think of each other especially at a time like this and show some grace forgiveness acceptance and at all times Let's love each other. Signing off. The one, the only rubber ducky. No, that's not it. Signing off. <laughs> the one, the only, the rubber ducky. That's not gonna work. I'm not the rubber ducky. <laughs> I'll catch you on the flip side when the skate park re <laughs> I catch you on the flip side when the skate park reopens. Right. Roger that, we'll go out. <laughs>